You mentioned on a topic there, uh, which is uh, money, and I know that's a big topic for a lot of people. I feel that a lot of people start personal development just so they could make more money, but <laughs> then they uh, kind of get tricked by the system and they improve every part of their lives uh, along the way. Uh, but please, um, what's your opinion on money? Um, what do you think about it? Just go, go. Just yes, yes. Do it. <laughs> yeah. So I came from a, a scar scarcity, a, sc <laughs> a scarcity? scarcity mentality. <laughs> um, just because I grew up and, and it was like there was never enough, even though we had everything we needed. Like my family was very blessed. You know, I never wanted for anything, but it was very much like, well, there's just never enough. We need more to do to this. We need more. We need more. And so I had to do a lot of shifting around money blocks in my life. And I did a lot of this through, there's a book called Creating Money that's wonderful and helping people do this after every chapter they have questions that you can journal and process about and so with you know my own money blocks to get to this um, level of abundance that i'm at now i really had to go back and forgive the people in my life who taught me how to look at money or how to see money which in my in my life, we just didn't really talk about it or it was like, you need to save a bunch of money. So by the time I was 30, I had about $26,000 saved just in my savings account. And when I got into coaching, I essentially spent it all on my business and on like mentors. Mm -hmm. And then I was in a deficit. <laughs> and that was really hard. So I recommend don't doing that. But <laughs> it was exactly the what I needed to do. But essentially, I needed to learn, like, how do I spend money on myself? How do I make decisions with my money with discernment instead of just kind of throwing it and being like, oh, this will come back to me. This will come back to me when, you know, really, if it's not made in a, if I don't process it, if I don't really feel into it, it could be, you know, a decision that's not best for me at that time. Mm -hmm. So and now I've, I've moved into money is everywhere it's abundance and there's more than enough for everyone mm -hmm. if we align with that you know if we think that there's not enough or that we're not worthy or if we don't energetically align ourselves to the amount of money that we desire then it's just not going to come in yeah true true um a lot of people think that um I love what you said that there uh, that has to be an energetic alignment, uh, and a lot of people feel that they will just like use the law of attraction to to just get the money without giving anything in return or uh, changing any part of themselves, and it will just magically appear. Um, I feel that the law of attraction works exactly as you described it now. So, if you want to be rewarded by money, then you have to give some energetic feedback to the universe that kind of justifies that reward you know i always looked at it kind of as an i wouldn't say an, as an exchange but kind of like a shifting of energy you know like you spend focusing on a solution for a longer time you figure it out and then the universe gives you money because you kind of found the solution you know uh, that's kind of how i i look at it from from that perspective Yes. And it, with law of attraction, it's really about getting into that feeling good state. So if we feel really, you know, down about money or our money situation, or if we feel really fearful about money or we're anxious about money, then we're not going to pull any more to us. <laughs> yeah. But if we can get in that feeling state of, okay, I'm abundant with exactly what I have right now, if it's in my highest good to, to gain more abundance, then I'll ask for that. Mm -hmm. And I will align myself to that. And I will continue to work on myself to be in a feeling good state. So really, like the only thing that I've been doing lately is taking care of myself to the point where I can feel really good. Mm -hmm. And then money is just magnetized to me because I'm not scared of it. I'm not anxious about it. I'm not fearful about it. I just have faith and trust that what I put out there, if it's, if I'm in integrity with it, if I'm authentic with it, then it's just going to come to me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just going to happen. Like it's, it's the law of the universe.
But if I don't practice what I preach, if I don't continue getting my own support, if I don't um, be the transformation that I want my clients to be, then I push people away. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip. Oh, she's a